DST. So today we are going to talk about Samsung Galaxy S21, S21 Plus. This video is something special because I've had investigated some tech YouTubers like me, MKBHD, I Justin, and Mr. Booster Boss. They are my inspiration for my YouTube channel or for me. I've had gathered some news or specs from them because I don't have a real phone from here that news to show or to construct viewers a good trust or a strong trust for my video so now let's get in on the S21 comes with Phantom Violet, Phantom Black and Phantom Silver same as the S21 but here's also a new color for S21 Plus and this is it the Phantom Pink which is pretty interesting on its color this is the displays that we are going to talk about now let's see it 6.2 inch FHD plus on the S21 with a ultrasonic fingerprint sensor it's slight bigger or larger than the S20 series while on the S21 plus 6.7 inch FHD plus and the same ultrasonic fingerprint sensor this phone has 120Hz refresh rate display people are worrying about the durability of this phone this fascinating display is protected by the toughest gorilla glass yet this is the very flexible plastic bag which is now you are seeing a IP68 rating which is resisted by water and dust whoever is planning to buy a phone from this bowl don't worry about the durability. Camera for the phone is the more important that even some people are buying the phones or the smartphones for a crispy memory to shoot on. Let's talk about a pretty fun topic to talk. Cameras. 10 megapixel front facing camera. The popular thing that every tech YouTubers are talking or testing about is the rear camera. 12 megapixel main camera with a dual pixel f 12 megapixel ultra wide camera f2.2 and the 64 megapixel 3x looseless zoom f2.0 in good light 12 megapixel shots from the main cam are quite appealing they have nicely saturated colors wide dynamic range well controlled noise and an adequate level of detail comparing the output to last year's s20 plus you'll notice a difference in processing the S20 models had warmer, more saturated colors, a trend not only for the main camera, but pretty much across the board. You can take 64 megapixel shots with the S21's telephoto camera at a little more than one time zoom. These are very detailed, and dynamic range is as good as from the main cam. Contrast is a bit lower though. To achieve its advertised lossless zoom, the phone crops from the center of that 64 megapixels. At two times zoom, the results are generally good but a little soft for some reason. 3x zoom adds some upscaling to the mix, which results in less sharpness and contrast, and noise is a bit more visible. These photos are still very usable. According to Samsung, improvements in AI stabilization make taking long zoom shots, like at 30 times, easier and with better results. Maybe it is a bit easier, but don't expect great quality from this level of zoom. The Galaxy S21's portrait shots are taken with the telephoto camera by default. The zoom allows for a nice distance between the camera and the subject, and the results are great, with excellent detail and superb edge detection. You can also take a wide portrait with the main camera. This requires getting much closer to the subject, though the results are generally very good. We did notice a few mistakes with stray hair though. We weren't too impressed by the 12 megapixel shots from the ultra wide angle cam. Now you can look that the frame is being flexed or curved around the edges, which is looking clean. Here comes the battery life. So the S21 has 4 million amps of battery life. Either the S21 Plus has 48 million amps of battery life. These both phones has super fast charging, which is certified by the USB Implements Forum Corporation or USBIF. So talking about the connectivity, it has 5G with a dual SIM. So you can now see the module that is being used to insert the SIM. There is no expandable storage for some reason. 256 gigs of storage for it or both of these phones. 
So thanks for watching. Please keep supporting me. Please subscribe the channel. You'll be interested.